first gave you a round of applause. Kevin, um, you said you had a lovely high and stuff. Would you describe that vibe in general? Yeah, no, it was just, it felt like a must win night. And uh, I'm not saying that the other nights didn't feel like that, but uh, you just got to go into that deep place where you just aren't distracted by anything that's going on. And there's a goal at hand when you step out there and I just get less talkative and I just have you know, a look on my face. I'm just ready to just go out there and just do what's needed for us to get this win and um, join the collective group and, and just sacrificing the results, all the results. When was it? Yeah, I just uh, I walk in this arena with a lot of gratitude, um, you know, every arena, really, but specifically tonight, just knowing that it just felt like one of those occasions you know, pregame preparing, see a few of the supporters walking in. I don't want to call them fans, but see supporters walking in. That's what the game is about. It's just about that camaraderie, that brotherhood, that sisterhood. Everyone loves the, uh, the game of basketball that's coming to watch it. So I want to put on a good performance, you know, people up top and people that are sitting court side. So just grateful that I'm able to, to do that and, um, you know, get a warm reception. Are you aware of how many you had down the stretch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sell you a lot of you. I was <laughs> Uh, you know, it was just, yeah, I was aware. But just letting it come, just letting it come, just letting it flow of the game and um, just living the results. Was was it, uh, I don't know, was it basically where you were in the standings and the importance of the game? Kevin intimated maybe you felt some kind of way, some of the shots that you probably felt you should have hit. Austin didn't go down. In, in your mind, what was it, I guess, that led to that? that I just think all of the above, you know, it just has a, as a professional in this in this game, I just feel like you know we're put in positions where we have to respond. And obviously, I didn't play my best game in Boston. Um, you know, I was I quoted the other day just saying it was really emotional. And just every time I step foot in there, it just is what it is. I'm human. So uh, you know, going back, I know we'll see Boston again. But tonight, we just wanted to have a fresh start. And I know that <clears throat> me coming out playing aggressive, it, it sparks the energy in our team. And uh, just makes everyone else's job a lot easier. And, um, you know, it felt good tonight, too, just to do it in the flow of the game. It was really forced. I wasn't trying to go out there and get 50. It just ended up happening. And the energy in the flow of the game allowed it to happen. And uh, it was a mix, mix for some special team wins. Kevin, you've obviously done it before in the past. What do you think it will be like going against James so soon? It's fun. You know, it's fun. It just it makes for good stories. It makes for good narratives. It makes for good, uh, you know, build up for our, our league. And, um, you know, it's never too personal. But, uh, you know, we, we, we understand that as competitors, we want to win the game. So going there with a resolve, with a focus and just ready for whatever. And you know the Philly crowd is going to be what it is. Everybody likes to build that up. Um, but specifically for us, it's not about any individual matchups. It's about us going in there and just being a great team and, and building on what we set out to do. As, as you look back a couple weeks later now since the deal went down, do you think there is anything you guys could have said or done differently that would have made James want to stay here long term? I mean, like I said, some of those questions probably James can answer better. You know, I, I was coming in, you know, late into the things and – I was told one thing and you know, I told another thing and then trade down line comes up and then now it's a whole different situation. Now I'm answering questions about like what happened. I, I don't have a timeline of whether or not things could have gone better or not. You know, I thought we were in a good swing, but uh, you know, everybody has their own vision starting off seasons. Everybody has their own vision starting off their careers and, and ending their careers. If that's what James wanted, then I respect his decision. And that's just what it is. I wish another but peace of love. Like we, we have a great friendship, but it didn't work out. Wish things could have been communicated better for all of us, you know, as men. But hey, like no hard feelings here with me or anyone else. You mean from him? You wish he communicate better to you guys? I mean, it's it's organization. So all of us communicated. You know, it, we're all responsible for it. But we're still in the same league. It's not like he went somewhere different where we're not going to see him again, and we're not going to see him in the summertime. It's just, you know, like I said, it's it's great for the league to build up things like this. But. Um, 
you know, we, we have a group in our locker room that we just want to be mature about going into Philly and handling business and then moving on. What, what do you think that atmosphere would be like? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs>